Hello guys, today I am going to discuss uh, with you regarding the SQL plus substitution operators and what are their uses. So I have already defined this eight uh, commands and operators uh, for substituting a value through a variable. So like uh, what is the use of define, undefined, accept, prompt, variable and ampersand, double ampersand and column. I'll see. I will discuss uh, one by one. So uh, let's uh, move to the practical part and uh, we'll run all the command using the command from SQL plus environment. So let's connect to uh, the user HR user for practice. So for connecting the user SQL plus HR maybe so connected. So uh, I want to keep all the commands in a file. All the commands which you practice right now, I want to keep it in a file. For that, I have to use the school command. School file name is practices.txt. So practices file has been created with the text uh, uh, extension. And then let's start. First is colon command. So if I write like select a star from EMP where employee number equal to ampersand, uh, sorry, say, uh, colon employee now, it will show me error because EMP now has not been declared. How to declare a variable? For that, we have to use the variable command. This variable command we need to use. The syntax is variable, variable name, data type, and equal to hello. So let me write like this variable, variable name is EMP now and uh, then data type is a number then equal is assignment operator and the value is 7369 it is a employee number so if i write again same thing suppose select the star from you see it comes in so to make it in a proper size i have to set a page size as 200 and set line size as 200 if i run this you see it comes in properly in a proper format okay so this variable uh, emp num has been declared and uh, it has been used okay and uh, it can only be used with the color if we write like select star from emp where emp number equal to ampersand emp num which has been with uh, the variable which you have already declared if i use with the ampersand it will ask me the value you see it could not able to understand that EMP number is a variable which has been already declared. That means EMP number is a variable which you have declared can be used only with the colon uh, operator. So with ampersand you see it is asking me a value and EMP number is a variable which you have already declared. So I am giving some false value suppose 999 so no row selected. So let's move to the ampersand. As you know, this ampersand is used to uh, take a value from the user and it will substitute that uh, variable. Okay, so let's see select star from EMP where employee number equal to ampersand EMP underscore now. Suppose you see it asking a value, I am giving 7499. Okay, it gives my record 7499 is the employee. So uh, if I, uh, you see there is two, there is a main difference between ampersand and double ampersand. Double ampersand is used when we want to give the value for the first time and from the next time it will never ask us any value. You see in ampersand it always asks us a value. We need to give a value. But for the double ampersand it only asks for the single time and from the next time it will use the value which is exist in that variable. Let's see. So select star from EMP where employee number equal to double ampersand EMP ID. Okay. So if I write, it will ask me for the first time. So I am giving a value that is 7521. It is employee number. You see. And if I write the same statement again, select star from EMP where employee number equal to double ampersand emp underscore id this time it will never ask me to give a value it will use the value which i have already passed before that is 7521 okay this is 
uh, going to be used so you see it didn't ask me so it's great and next is i'm going to show you the use of define and undefined so define basically used when when uh, suppose like ampersand we are using okay ampersand work is it will ask us every time whenever we need to uh, use the query but if we define a variable and if we give the give the variable with a value if we assign a variable if we assign a value with that variable then what happens whenever we use the ampersand it will not ask us to give a value you see define i am declaring var1 and here i don't need to pass the uh, data type here i want to pass a value only that is 75661 employee number so you see I have already defined the var1 and if I write like select star from EMP where employee number equal to ampersand var1 then it will automatically use the var1 value that is 7566 you see 7566 data comes in so that means when you define a variable that can be used with the ampersand if we define a uh, if we define a variable then it will be used with the ampersand and if we define using the variable command then it will be used the only colon okay these are two difference and if we uh, define if we use a uh, ampersand you see here uh, a single ampersand here ampersand employee underscore num here employee num is not a variable so it always acts as a value so these are the difference and next is uh, undefined define we see undefined if we write undefined var1 then what happen var1 will be erased or it will be deleted and if i write select star from emp and where employee number equal to ampersand var1 this time it will ask me to give a value you see i'm giving a value so search for that It is giving asking a value and I am giving 7369. You see, it fetched the record this time. Bar one it could not able to understand because bar one already undefined over here. Okay, so next command is prompt. Prompt is used to display message only. Suppose prompt uh, happy in new year 2020. You see, it gives a, a message, it gives a prompt. And what is the use of with accept? We will see accept and prompt. That command we will see. And what is the syntax for that? That is accept. I like accept and then variable name that is var1 and then uh, data type that is number. And then we will use prompt and we have to give a text that is please enter a employee number. Okay. So it asks asked us to give a value so i am giving 7521 so what happened the 7521 stored in the var1 and whenever you use like select star from emp where employee number equal to ampersand var1 it will take the var1 value you see 7521 we have given here and that value has been replaced over here means it has been used so these are the various uses of uh, uh, define undefined and variable creation and uh, this accept and prompt so it is a good way uh, like uh, to accept uh, to substitute a value through the uh, variable so i hope you got understood and uh, to you know to write the contents in, into a file we have to uh, write spool of okay so the all the contents will be written into the folder uh, into that file which you have created before that is practices or taste so thanks to all of you for watching this video and uh, i hope you got understood if you have any doubt please comment below and please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thanks to all of you bye